Hello everyone, I'm Denise Winston and we are at Bakersfield College, the Renegade Room, and this is Bakersfield Eats. on the east side of town at a hidden treasure, a place where you might be surprised to find a relaxing atmosphere and gourmet meals at home cooked prices. We're at the Renegade Room at Bakersfield College, where there's a lot more going on than just education. If you love gourmet food but not the prices, you're in for a special treat tonight because here at the Renegade Room, the meals are incredible. You can see tonight we're actually having scallops. We are having Santa Barbara greens with strawberry vinaigrette. It is a multi-course meal for an incredible price. Let's go ahead and take a look. We are here with Suzanne Davis and she is the chef instructor. And tell me what's going on here in this room right now. It's uh, 415. It's 415 and our students uh, began today with their preparations at about 2.30. Uh -huh. So this is a lab class for them. They come in at 2.30, begin chopping, dicing, slicing, whatever it is that they need to do. And then by about 4 o'clock they've got most of that done and then they begin the cooking process. And then serving? Serving doesn't begin until 5.30, but our students are usually prepared with everything that they need to do by about 5.15, and that's when we have our official taste panel, which allows us to adjust seasonings or salt things more, or whatever it is that we need to do to bring the product up to the right quality. Sounds like a really sophisticated operation, like the real deal. It is the real deal. Our goal here is to get the students trained, mm -hmm. ready for industry, so that when I have restaurants around town call me looking for qualified help, I can send them a student who's gotten through the program with relatively good feeling knowing that they could step into a commercial kitchen and, and perform for them. As they go through the process, the students wait tables, and for many of them, it's the first time they've ever waited on a, mm -hmm. a, on a table at all. It's a, it's a frightening thing for anybody. It's not anybody. easy. No, it isn't. It right. it's a, takes a lot of brain power as well as strength. Mm -hmm. Then uh, they also go through a rotation where they do dishes. Okay. Pots and pans, mop the floor, all of that type of sanitation work. Yep, the sanitation right? work, and then they go through the rotation in this in the kitchen with soup, salad, the entrees, mm -hmm. the vegetable preparation, the starch preparation, the uh, breads, and our two desserts that we offer each day. They know when they come in at 2:30, they're not going to sit down <laughs> until all of the guests have been served. Well, it's basically a regular happy. work yes, shift, it's right? it's a regular work shift. Okay. So at 7.30, they may sit down to have their 15-minute break and then go back to right. back into the kitchen and clean. Right. Okay, well, when, can we go into the kitchen and take a look? Oh, absolutely. Right, you got to see that. what these guys okay. are doing. We have a lot going on in this kitchen right now. There's a lot of activity. Tell me what you guys are preparing tonight. Oh, there's so many things going on, you can't believe it. Uh, I have one student that's preparing ratatouille, which is going to be served on a Parmesan crisp. That's an amuse bouche. Oh that's a gift for, from the chef that we're gonna serve okay. as a first course. Then I've got an Italian chicken stew, which has green olives, artichokes, capers, lemons, and potatoes. It's delicious. <laughs> it's noisy, but it's, it's noisy, good. It's noisy, but it's good, yes. Uh, then uh, we're preparing veal milanese, which will be served with a red wine sauce uh, reduction, uh -huh. along with orchetti pasta. And our vegetable of the day is uh, Brussels sprouts. Ooh. So that'll be a nice um, bridge to our, our fall season. Then our second entree that we're offering today is uh, scallops that are going to be served with a lemon uh, infused rice surrounded with a seared scallop and it sits in a coconut vanilla broth. I think that's what I want yeah, tonight. I think Sounds it is. so it's delicious. Both of them are, are very nice dishes. Uh -huh. We're going to finish up with our dessert which is panna cotta served with fresh berries or they can choose a uh, cannoli. What we try to do is give the students as a broad of a perspective on food as we possibly can. We want all the ethnic origins to uh, come through. We also want them to have their foundational skills in French cooking. But if 
uh, we would be remiss if we didn't introduce some Asian elements, right. uh, some Spanish elements, some Mexican elements, so that that blending of what we have here in Bakersfield shines through in all of our food. So uh, what are we working on here? We got some veal we're doing right here. He's gonna flour it off over there, sear it, and then we're gonna stack them and put a nice little marsala sauce over the top of it. Sounds delicious. Veal's not on the menu very often. No, it is not. It's actually something a lot of people are afraid of in Bakersfield. It seems like they've just gotten used to bad veal at all of the corporate restaurants, so it's nice to put it on a menu and let people actually taste what it's supposed to be like. That's well said, I must say. <laughs> All right, so what are you working on over here? Um, it's ratatouille. A ratatouille? Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Yeah. What is in that? Um, it has uh, yellow peppers, red peppers, tomatoes, zucchini, eggplant, uh, purple onion, uh, basil, and salt and pepper. Wow, it looks beautiful. And those things are diced to perfection. They're so tiny. Somebody yeah. spent a lot of time doing that. Yeah, we did. We, we take pride in our work. Excellent. We're learning, but... Hey, smells good. Looks yeah, good. Yeah, thank you. All right, so it looks like you're busy. Yes. A three-step process here? A uh, three-step process. And this is the veal? Yes. So veal Milanese. All right, is that parmesan? What is that you're putting that on? This is, uh, it goes flour, eggs, and then this is a pinko um, crumbs? Bread, bread crumbs. Excellent. And then you fry it or you bake it? Or you? It will be fried and then baked. Excellent. All right, can't wait to taste that. <laughs> So I'm, I'm training Tori here on, on cooking scallops. This is the first time she's cooked scallops in a commercial kitchen. All right. So I'm making sure that she gets her pan nice and hot before those scallops go in there, that the scallop itself is seasoned well. And then I'm telling her, don't overcook it. Most people overcook them, they get rubbery, and that's why people don't like scallops. Right. So we really are looking for just some color on the bottom. And then as soon as we get enough color on the bottom, we turn those over, we should see a color change, and then we're done. You're done? We're done. What do you think? It sounds easy, but I'm nervous messing it up. <laughs> I think everything in the kitchen looks easy, but, you know, isn't always. So. No, there's some things that don't look easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like all the little shopping. Looks good. Yes, we are having what's called a pre-shift meeting. Okay. So my front of the house people come out and all the students that have prepared things come out. Okay. And then we take a look at the products that we produced. You can see this is so bountiful. It's, it's, it's beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Uh, so they get a visual, they all take pictures with their, their phones because that goes into their um, student portfolio. And then we sample each one of the dishes. So usually I go first. <laughs> and this Make a general assessment. Mm -hmm. And then the servers get to go second. And then everybody else goes. And what we're trying to do here is check for the right flavorings and seasonings. And if it's wrong, right now we can make a difference. But when our guests arrive, we're not going to have that kind of time. Very wise. I can tell you, you've done this a lot. Uh, at least once. <laughs> All right, so this is the appetizer, and it is a Parmesan crisp filled with ratatouille, and I can't wait to taste it. smells delicious. I love Parmesan cheese. Mm. Mm. Crunchy, fresh, very flavorful, delicious. Mm. Parmesan cheese is just yummy. This is definitely a substantial stew. At first, I thought it looked very light, but I can tell you the meat, the texture is very, very nice and the broth is clear and very flavorful. So I'm not sure if the camera is doing this plate justice at all because the, the presentation is amazing and the food just looks incredible and smells, the aroma is very, very good. And I'm gonna tell you, these um, scallops look to be absolutely perfect. The texture is perfect. And now remember this is, um, coconut, vanilla coconut, so I'm interested to see if it's really sweet. Mmm. Mm. That is divine for sure. Where else can you get a meal like this in Bakersfield? 
this plate under $15, and I just heard him call out, sorry, I just heard him call out a to-go order. So you can get this kind of meal to go for under 15 bucks. Love it. It is time to enjoy my dessert, but before I do that, I just wanted to make sure that you know to call ahead to the Renegade Room and make a reservation when you come, because you can see behind me, this place is packed. They have three seating options, one at 5.30, one at 6, and one at 6.30. Tuesday nights, you can receive a plated meal. Wednesday is a lunch special, and Thursday is their buffet, which I understand is spectacular. You can see by today's show that the portions are extraordinary, and I really like the way the students are interacting with not only each other, um, but with the patrons and just the learning experience that's going on here and the incredible value because you can't find meals like this in Bakersfield. So I'm going to enjoy my dessert, but I will see you next time on Bakersfield Eats.